Welcome back. So let's look at this trade-off piece here. So whereas corporate social responsibility really operates on this traditional economic view of trade-offs, creating shared value does not. And let's have an illustration. This is a production possibilities frontier or production possibilities term, uh, curve or PPF or PPC, depending on who you look at. You probably all learned this in economics. Now, classically in economics, you looked at guns and butter. You know, an organization or a country only has two options. It can make butter, aka food, or guns, aka it can make war. Okay, that's what we normally think of. Well, by the same token, a company, instead of having, looking at it in terms of, you guys can't see me at all, instead of looking at it just in terms of guns and butter, you could look at it as charity or profit. Okay? So, you can maximize your profits. So make all this amount of profit and you can have no charity. So therefore, you're going to have profit one, charity one as your amount, which charity is almost nothing. Or you can do something, you can be a good member of society and you can start donating to charity. And let's say you give half of your company's profits to charity. So you have profit two, charity two. So what you see is you've given a lot to charity, but look how much profit you've lost in the, in the meantime. And that, what that means is this amount, the difference between P2 and P1, is how much you've lost your competitive advantage to another, a, a rival corporation. So that's money that you could have invested um, in the firm. So you're missing out by donating to charity. Okay, that's pretty lame, isn't it? But what my, Michael Porter is saying in this article is that by creating shared value, for example, so this production possibility um, curve makes certain assumptions that labor is only so productive, machines are only so good, the environment only holds you know, so many resources. But by investing in your different stakeholders, by investing in your employees, you can make them more productive. By respecting the environment, it can give you more help. By working hand-in-hand -hand with governments on initiatives, the governments can become more supportive. And, therefore, your curve can actually move out. Okay? So, because the curve moves out, you know, pretty much any spot in here, you're better off than you were no matter where you were here. Right? You're automatically giving more, whether you decide to be charitable or profitable. But what Michael Porter is saying is actually this whole charity thing, it just kind of goes hand in hand. So if you're here, instead of giving charity, but if you can work on creating shared value, okay, let's look at roughly what that point would be if we extrapolate it. So because I created shared value, I get P3 and C3. So because I've invested in my communities, my employees, etc., I'm making more profit and more charity. Or I can even move that thing all the way down here, P4. So we've moved beyond trade-offs. That's what he's talking about here. Okay. So creating shared value allows you to move the production possibilities frontier out. Now specifically, are who are these stakeholders that we are investing in? Well, I'm going to talk about that in the next video. As always, if you have any questions, especially if you're not, if you haven't taken economics and you're a little confused on this whole curve idea, post those questions in the comments. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And you know what happens if we move, hit that subscribe button? You and I can move to the next production possibilities frontier. Actually, no, we can't. That actually is hitting the subscribe button. Actually, has absolutely nothing to do with this curve. But I'm just trying to get you to hit that subscribe button. So please hit that subscribe button. Um, anyhow. We'll talk about stakeholders in the next video. I'll see you then.